Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another three box random team break of 2019 Leaf Autograph football jerseys. There's the last three boxes of the case that we opened up. I don't know when, but when we opened up back in the day. So there they are right here. There's another break in the, so this is break number two. All right, you can see on the spreadsheet right up there. Break three is in the shop right now. That's my fresh case, just FYI. Okay. Big thanks to these folks here. One spot gets you two teams, so let's double you up, Sir Mix-A-Lot style. All 32 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. One and a four, five times for each list. One, two, three, four, and five. After five times, we've got Justin down to Jesse. And one and a four, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and good luck. Fifth and final time. After five, got the Dallas Cowboys down to Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tampa B -B Bay Buccaneers. A lot of bees in there. All right, Justin with the boys, Justin with the Giants, Jeff with the Chiefs, John with the Vikings and Seahawks, John Sodaro with the Colts, Isaac with the Jets, Brian with the Niners, Jeff with the Saints, Anthony with the Jags, Brian with the Rams, John with the John S. with the Panthers, Justin at last spot, Mojo with the Broncos, Jesse with the Bills and the Lions, Alan with the Packers, John with the Dolphins, Juan with the Falcons, Brian with the Steelers, Juan with the Bears, John E. with the Bengals, Bryant with the Texans, Justin with the Eagles, Anthony with the Cardinals, Brian with the Titans, Isaac with the Redskins, Bryant with the Chargers, Jesse with the Raiders, Ravens, Browns, Allen with the Patriots, and Jesse with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. All right, let's alphabetize by team, and trades are allowed if you'd like. We're going to pause the video really quick, allow for some trades, and then we will continue with the break. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. There were no trades, so that list you saw on the previous screen right here remains the same. Thank you. So let's set these two aside right here for now. Let's pop this open. Let's play a couple uh, quick rounds, a few quick rounds of who am I? Who am I? Yeah, you can't look if you want to guess this. It's America's favorite game, ladies and gentlemen. I give you the clues, and you try to give me some answers for bragging rights, of course. I don't want the Nick Cam right here to show the too early. All right. Who am I? Let's get the – type in the name right here. All right. Retired football player, of course, quarterback. I'm seven I'm seventy years old. He looks a lot younger. Went to went to high school in South River, New Jersey. I'm a Super Bowl champ, an MVP, a two time Pro Bowler, first team all pro, an NFL offensive player of the year, a two time CFL All Star, an NFL man of the year, part of this team's ring of ring of fame. 160 touchdowns to 138 interceptions, 25,206 passing yards, a 27 or sorry, a 77-4 passer rating. 70 years old now. 6 foot 192, drafted in the early 70s in the 4th round. But played with the Toronto Argonauts. For a few seasons before going to, yep, Johnny O got it, going to the Redskins. Joe Theismann. There he is, classic number seven right there. There he is, 1983 MVP. There you go, nice. And these are custom jerseys, there's the JSA card right there. These are custom jerseys. But the colors are nice, perfect for framing, I think. And that goes to that goes to Isaac with the Redskins.
next one. Good luck. Next one will be Lawrence Taylor <laughs> after Joe Theismann. All right. All right, who am I? I am 31 years old, an inactive wide receiver. Played for three teams my entire career. Went to school in uh, Miami, Norland High School in Miami Gardens, Florida. Seven-time Pro Bowler, first team, four-time first-team All-Pro, two-time NFL receiving yards leader, two-time NFL receptions leader, and NFL receiving touchdowns leader. And won all sorts of awards in the MAC. 841 career receptions, 11,263 yards, 75 receiving touchdowns, 2,932 total return yards, five return touchdowns. Man. If I, uh, if, I, if I get my S together, then I'm a pretty awesome receiver. Yep, Sean's got it. Mike Malvers has got it. John sodaro has got it. Courtney's got it. Brian's got it. It's Steelers edition of Antonio Brown. There he is. He's got a nice autograph, too. Come on, Antonio. Get your stuff together. It's just good for the hobby. It's just good for the hobby. All right, that, that's, that's uh, Steelers edition. You can tell by the colors. That'll go to Brian. Brian Magnus with that. <laughs> apparently. Yeah, apparently Mike Malvers. I don't know. That doesn't present itself until later, though, right? CT. I think he's just... I think he's just feeling himself too much. I think he's got too many, too many yes men that are that are just surrounding him. I think he's not not quite humbled yet. Was humble, and then then got unhumbled. I don't know. He's got to figure that out though. He's got a nice auto, too, which is good for the hobby. He's got all the pieces of being a superstar, but just wasting the best years of his, his career, you know? Yeah, he's got to get off Twitter. Like, yeah, that social media is not doing anything, doing him any good. Because then it's also a bunch of people being like, I'm feeling you, Antonio. I'm with you. And then other people just trolling him. It's not good. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Well, this is going to kind of give it away, so I apologize. Uh, but any college players will go to the team they're currently on if they're active or the team they play for the longest if they're inactive. And if it's a college coach, I know, I just gave it away. If it's a college coach, they'll be randomized to one person in this break. So this will be a randomizer. Who am I? I'm a former college coach. I'm 90 years old already. I feel like it was just yesterday when he was coaching this particular college that he's known for. Um, let's see. Uh, I have 377 wins, 129 losses, and four ties, I guess. I ha I've had 12 wins vacated. I guess that's what happens when you're a successful program. 21, 10, and 1 in bowl games. Two national championships in the uh, early 90s and the late... T. Thomas, nice. Got it right away. T. Thomas getting the Bobby Bout and Johnny O and Rick with that. Yep, 12 ACC titles. Coach of the Year Award. College Football Hall of Fame inducted in 2006. Yep, longtime Florida State head coach. Bobby Bowden. There's the Beckett card right there. There's his auto right there. You're not, you don't see too many Bobby Bowden autographs. There's the Beckett sticker right there. Uh, 
All right. So that will be randomized to one person in this break. So let's go back to the list. Let's grab everyone's names from Anthony down to Isaac. Let's put it into this blank list right here. And let's roll it and randomize it six times. T. Tom is saying 90 and you saying he, <laughs> he was coach, felt like he was coaching just yesterday. It really does, right? But in 2009 was when he retired, around there, like 10 years ago. Four and a two, six times. One, name on top gets it. Two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times... Name on top gets the Bobby Bowden jersey and autograph in the Florida State colors. Goes to Justin. There you go, Justin. Congrats to you. And thanks, everyone, for getting in. This is Joe. We'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.